Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is types of hydrocarbons or we can say classes of hydrocarbons. As we know that there are trillions of hydrocarbons available on this earth and definitely it's easy to study them and to recognize them if we can classify them properly. So let's discuss the types. So in classes of hydrocarbons, on the basis of structure, hydrocarbons are divided into two main classes. Please learn them. Open chain or aliphatic hydrocarbons. We can also use the word aliphatic for open chains. And the next is closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons. If I talk about open chain hydrocarbons. It means that all those chains of hydrocarbons which are not joined from the end. Last carbons are free. They are not joined with each other. Like in this example, I am taking four carbon atoms. So, it will be named as butane. And in these four carbon atoms, it is just simple as straight chain. The grey balls are representing carbon and the yellow small balls are representing hydrogen in it. While if I talk about closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons, it's like this. Now again, I have four carbon atoms showing with black balls and these are joined with each other at the end. Means carbon number 1 is joined with carbon number 4. So, this is an example of closed chain hydrocarbons. Open chain or aliphatic hydrocarbons. These are the compounds in which the first and the last carbon are not directly joined to each other. So, this is a very simple definition for open chain hydrocarbons to learn them easily. For example, the open chain of carbon may be straight or branched. This is an example of straight chain hydrocarbon because there is no branch in it. And if I talk about this one, three carbon atoms are arranged in a straight line while the fourth one is present in a branched form on carbon number 2. So this is an example of branched chain hydrocarbon. Can you please name it? Yes, it's very easy to name it. 3 carbon chain means that we will use the word prop and there is a single bond in it so it will gonna be propane. Having branch on carbon number 2 which is methyl group. So it will gonna be 2 methyl propane. Now the open chain hydrocarbons are further divided into two categories. Saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Let's discuss them one by one. Saturated hydrocarbons. So what the word saturated exactly means? It means no more accommodation, no more space. Like if I used to say that this classroom is already saturated so there is no space for new students. For carbon, we use the same rule. Carbon belongs to group number 4A having 4 electrons in its outermost shell. So it used to form 4 bonds. You are genius. It used to form 4 bonds and satisfy its valencies by forming single bonds with carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. So in a simple definition to learn, the hydrocarbons in which all the 4 valencies of carbon atoms are fully satisfied. 
by single bonds with other carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms are called saturated hydrocarbons they are also named as alkanes and we are very familiar with it now alkane is an hydrocarbon in which the carbon atoms are connected by single covalent bond there is no triple and double covalent bond present in alkanes now here are some examples of saturated hydrocarbons can you name it yes it is methane whenever we have one carbon atom we use the word meth and as there is a single bond in it it will going to be named as methane the word ane comes from alkanes having single bond in it now there are two carbon atoms having single bond in it so for two carbon atoms we use the word eth and for single bond ane so it going to be named as ethane three carbon atoms will named as prop having single bond in it prop in and four carbon atoms we use the word but having single bond in it in so it will be named as butane so all these are saturated hydrocarbons having single bond in them they are also known as alkanes now the general formula for saturated hydrocarbons is same as that for alkanes cn h2n plus 2 now here n is representing the number of carbon atoms in one molecule of alkane unsaturated hydrocarbons the word unsaturated means there is a space and that space will be taken by double or triple bond so the hydrocarbons in which two carbon atoms are linked by a double or triple bond are called unsaturated hydrocarbons the compounds in which two carbon atoms are linked by double bonds are called alkenes for example ethene propene let's take some examples unsaturated hydrocarbons now in this case we know that carbon form four bonds with other atoms in this case carbon is forming two bonds with hydrogen and two bonds with other carbon atom so now the word for two carbon atoms is used eth and the double bond is representing ene so it gonna be named as ethene unsaturation is showing by a double bond what is this this is again double bond but now i have three carbon atoms so i will use the word prop having double bond in it to will be named as propene so it's quite simple the unsaturation is representing by double bond in which one bond is a sigma bond while the upper bond is a pi bond and we know that alkenes are the most reactive hydrocarbons because of their pi bond which can be break down easily because it is little bit weaker than as compared to a sigma bond now the general formula for unsaturated hydrocarbons cn h2n and its functional group is c double bond c 
So it is also considered as a functional group because it can change the properties of the hydrocarbon chains in which they are present. Now, unsaturated hydrocarbons having triple bond in them. The compounds in which two carbon atoms are linked by a triple bond are called alkynes. For example, ethyne propyne. What is this? Two carbon atoms having triple bond in them. So, as we know that for two carbon compounds, we use the word eth. And for a triple bond, we use ein. So, it's gonna be ethyne. Now, what is this? Having three carbon atoms means we use the word prop having triple bond in it. It will be named as propyne. General formula of unsaturated hydrocarbons for alkynes having triple bond in it. Cn H2n twin minus 2 and we know that triple bond is also represented as a functional group. So it will gonna be written as C triple bond C and the rest of the bond will be taken by hydrogen or other carbon atoms. Closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons. So in all previous slides we learn about straight chain, branch chain hydrocarbons and open chain hydrocarbons. Now it's time to move towards closed chain. So what are closed chain hydrocarbons? Compounds having rings of carbon atoms in their molecules are called closed chain. For example, benzene, cyclobutane and cyclohexane. Now the first carbon is directly attached with the last carbon to form a ring. Let's take some examples. Here are some examples of closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons. Now, what's the difference you are observing in these examples? Yes, you are right. In these examples, carbon number 1 is attached with last carbon of the chain. Now here, I have 6 carbon atoms. The edges are representing carbon atoms. So how many edges? There are six edges in this picture. So they are presenting benzene having alternate bonds in it. This is cyclobutane having four carbon atoms in which the carbon number one is attached with carbon number four. And this is an example of cyclohexane. This is different from that of benzene because in benzene we have alternate double and single bond while in case of cyclohexane we have same number of carbon atoms but there is no alternate single or double bond. All the bonding is single so it will gonna be named as cyclohexane. Now let's revise all the classes at the end. Hydrocarbons can be open chain hydrocarbons or closed chain. Open chain hydrocarbons can be straight chain or branched. And in closed chains, it may be a cyclic one or aromatic. Aromatic hydrocarbons produce fragrance. It comes from the word aroma which means smell and we include benzene ring in it. If I talk about straight chain or branch chain hydrocarbons, it can be saturated or unsaturated. Saturated means that there is no accommodation and there is a single bond in it and it's gonna be named as alkene. And if I talk about unsaturated hydrocarbons, it can be alkene or alkyne.
alkenes having double bond in it and alkynes having triple bond in it thank you so much for more videos keep watching in my next video i will discuss about alkenes that how can we prepare alkenes and what are the chemical and physical properties of alkenes have a great day